Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to take a look at how we can do some data cleaning and data wrangling tasks in Excel to make our data more suitable for data analysis. But before we proceed, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest of data analysis in Excel, Python and Pandas. Let's take a look at this small data set. Often we receive a data set in which we cannot directly use the data set for data analysis. Either we have to do some date or string manipulation or some numeric data manipulation. So take a look at this data set. It contains some data of some startup companies, some random company names. It has the valuation of the companies, the date joined or started from which country it is and the city and the industry. So let's take a look if we want to do some statistical computation on the valuation. If you want to find the max, mean, average sum and any other you know, grouping or numerical computation. We cannot do it currently because you see this is in a text format and it has some characters representing the dollar value and B stands for you know billion. So currently this means company one is at 12 billion dollars valuation and company three is at 999 million dollar valuation. So we can see that the units are also in text and at the same time some are in millions and some are in billions. So we ca cannot uh, do any numerical competition. So how do we convert this into a suitable numerical field with a standardized representation? So let's take a look. I am using the free online version of Excel so that anyone can follow along this video even if they do not have the paid subscription version of Excel so that they can learn these concepts. So let's dive right into it. First we are going to add a new column. Let's say I insert columns to the left and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the dollar and the B and the M sign. So let's take a look how we do that first. I'm going to be using the substitute function, call the function, pass the text that I want to perform the operation on. What is the value, old text value I'm looking for? That is the dollar sign. So I'm passing the dollar sign and what do I want to replace with it? That is the blank instance. I'll hit enter. And you can see the dollar sign is gone. And just copy this down by double clicking here and the dollar sign is gone from all the values in the column. Now I will try to remove the B alphabet. So again I am going to call the substitute function again. Call the substitute function again here. Same thing. Same thing. Okay. I will pass the value which I want to remove. So that is the B and I am going to pass the what value I want to replace with it, that is this blank quotes. And now I'll copy this down and you can see B is gone from everywhere. Now I'm only left with M. So again I will call this, this is called nested functions. I'll call it again. I'll call the substitute method here. Okay. Do the same thing again. What is the value I want to pass? M here and I want to replace it with a blank string. And I will now hit enter. And let me copy this down and you can see now the dollar B and M is gone. So now this is still but in text format. So and next step I want to convert this into numeric format. I'm going to insert a column here. Okay. I'm going to use the value function. Value function. I'm going to pass this value and hit enter and I'm going to now copy it down. So you can see it is now in numeric format. How do we know this? Because it is right aligned. For text formats are generally left aligned and this is a right aligned. So this is in numeric format. Okay. So let me copy this now and paste it here so that I do not have the references. I'll paste it here. Okay. And now I can delete this column. Now only one thing I need to do is, that is remaining is that it is now given me the numeric values, but some values are in billions and some values are in millions. So this is not uniform. The unit is not uniform. How do I make it uniform? I'll convert all of this to in, into billions. How I'll do this? I'm going to insert one column to the left again. Okay. Now I'm going to use the if function. And now I'm going to check if the, I'm going to get the rightmost character. So I'm going to use the right function. I'll pass this. And I'll say one character from the right. If that character is equal to B, right? That means it's billions, comma. So I'm going to use the same value, okay? And comma. If it is else, what what I want to do with the value is false. That means it is in millions. So I'm going to divide this value by thousand. 
Okay, close it, hit enter. And now I'll copy this down. And now you can see it has converted into billions. I'll just copy this, control C and paste the value here. Just paste the values. Okay, and I can delete these two cells. Delete the columns. Do not, do not forget to paste the values, else you will get the reference error. Now all I want to do is increase the decimal point. So you can see it is all, it has converted all of this. Let me copy this, let me select the entire thing, increase the decimal point. Okay, and now you can see this, it has copied all of this down and it has increased all the decimal point. Okay, this is done by four, let me just do it uniform again. Okay, yeah, so two decimal points. Now you can see it is shown, it's in a single unit that is in a billion. So you can, this is at a dollar 12 billion. This is at one, 1 billion. This is 0 0.14 million. Okay. So it is converted into a single unit. I just need to change the header valuation in dollar billions. And we are done. Now I can perform my numerical computation. Say I want to do the average, average, select the entire range, like the entire range, close or I can do the max or any other numerical competition. Let's say max, select this and the max valuation is 17 billion. So here you see how we have done some data ranking tasks, how to manipulate your data and convert it into either text, number or date. You will have to do these tasks in Excel. If you want me to make videos, such videos on more other data cleaning and wrangling tasks in Excel, please do let me know. And if you like the video, do not forget to leave a like and a comment on this video and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for the latest of data analysis in Excel, Python and Pandas. Thank you.